So uh, for the top two questions, okay, it's a quick review. Now, the stuff that we, we go over today, it's basically just the same thing that we did way back then when we talked about linear equations. So if you take a quick glance of these two questions, okay, I hope you still remember that we have to uh, pay special attention to the way we draw lines. Like there's a difference between a solid line and a dashed line, which is which? When do we draw, when do we draw a dashed line and when do we draw a solid line? Uh, equal, okay. Okay, just uh, without the equal, it's just greater than or less than, it's just, uh, uh, it's just the, um, uh, the dashed line, right? So, so over here, so it sets y equals to uh, uh, less than or equal to x minus three. So we say, hey, can you go ahead and draw this, uh, uh, draw this and use the graph to present our solution? What's the meaning of the word solution again? The meaning of the word solution is? All right. Now, now think about this. <laughs> I think this is the nth time I mentioned about this question. And I just want you to know the gravity of the word solve and solution. You are seeing this word day in and day out. And if you don't know what it means, well, guess who hurts it? Who got hurt the most? Well, it hurts my heart and it hurts you too, okay? So if you don't know what solution means, Maybe you want to put that onto your planner or somewhere else or tattoo it to your forearm or something and make sure you don't forget it. Okay. Solution is the value of values that that's do what? To make it that makes a statement true. Okay, solve is to find the values or value or values uh, that makes a statement true. Okay, now if you don't understand the solution, the word solution, if you don't understand the word solve, it really makes you feel confused. Okay, all right, so. Uh, so, uh, so over here, we have a Y intercept of uh, negative, negative three, and we say the slope is uh, one. So uh, it's very simple right here. Okay, are we done here? We say no, shaking our head. What else should we do? Shade is below, why is it below? Because it's less than, right? So we shade it below, okay? Again, it's not left or right. It's above versus below. It is below because it sets Y values. Like you have to know how to interpret this and translate this to a sentence. Y value is less than the linear equation, X minus three. <laughs> Meaning that any X, Y values, okay, any point, all right, any point, okay, any point right here in this region, like for example, a point right here, you go ahead, put the uh, X and Y value for this point into this inequality and that will make it true. Okay, so what about the one on the right? Okay, oh, by the way, let me ask a quick question, easy question. What form is this linear equation? Y is equal to MX plus B, what's the name of that form? Slope intercept, right? So that's how we know the intercept is four and the slope is negative two, right? So, uh, and we should use a dotted line or dashed line, right? To, uh, to, to uh, draw our graph right here. And then we should highlight which region? Top one, okay, above, right? Above the line. So. 
All right, does it bring, does it bring back any uh, old memories? Okay. So what we're about to do today is to use the same idea and we'll go ahead, we will go ahead and make graphs. And uh, we're going to look at these equations and, um, you know, draw some graphs. Okay.